are understanding average cost. So we know what is AFC, TFC by Q, AVC, come on, AVC is TVC by Q, done, okay. Now let's understand what is AC. So it refers to per unit total cost of production. It is calculated as AC is equals to TC divided by Q. Cool? Understood? This is the formula. Now, or the sum of A AFC and AVC. AC equals to AFC plus AVC. These are the two formulas. TC by Q or AFC plus AVC. This is very simple and this is also very simple for you all to understand. Let's move further. And what is here? Okay, so I have calculated AC from AFC and AVC. Now, you all know, do not look here. Just think what all we have done just right now. Okay, output. It goes on increasing from 0 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, what was your AFC? It was infinite. Look at TFC, we had 12, tha, so we had calculated it as infinite. AVC, kuch nahi tha, obviously. 1, 12, 6, 2, 6. It is, you can see, we had calculated AFC earlier, right? So it was 12, 6, 4, 3, 2.40. AVC, 6, 5, 5, 6, 7. Increases. It is initially decreasing. It reaches a minimum and then it starts to increase okay so we have AFC with us we have AVC with us so we can calculate AFC and AVC we can add these two AFC and AVC and then we get what we get we get AC okay so here 12 plus 6 it gives 18 6 plus 5 it gives 11 4 plus 5 it, it gives 9 3 plus 6 it, it gives 9 2.40 plus 7 it gives 9.40 okay cool now let's draw the curve of ac okay so ac is u-shaped i have already drawn it so you need to see ki ac curve your ac curve is u-shaped and it has three phases okay when both afc and avc fall till two units of output ac curve also falls till point a ac curve is also falling till point till point a okay when your afc and avc are all falling till two units of output till two units of output your afc and ac is falling 12 to 6 6 to 5 it is falling so your AC, AC is also falling. 18 se 11 ho gaya. So till 2 units of output, your AFC and AVC are falling. So your AC is also falling. Okay. Now, this is done. First phase is done where everything is falling. Falls. Both AFC, AVC falls. So that is why your AC is also falling. Second phase is where from 2 to 3 units. From 2 to 3 units this okay AFC continues to fall but AVC remains constant AFC continues to fall from 6 to 5 but AVC is constant 5 to 5 okay it remains constant so AC falls due to falling AFC till it reaches its maximum its minimum that is your point B AC, it falls till it reaches its minimum, that is your point B. From 3 to 4 units, fall in AFC by 1 is equal to rise in AVC by 1. So, AC remains constant. Now, you can see here it is your AC, it, remaining, it is remaining constant. It is falling. Your AFC is still falling, but your AVC is rising. And that is why your AC is remaining constant. And this is its minimum point. That is still point B. Third phase, after four units of output, rise in AVC. Okay, we'll see. Rise in AVC is more than, is more than fall in AFC. Is more than fall in AFC. You can see the AFC is falling, but their rise is more than this. Okay. And therefore, AC starts to rise. 
AC starts to rise. So basically, what is happening here? Your AC is falling, then it is reaching its minimum point and then again it starts to rise. That is the meaning of these three phases. Okay, whatever is written here, whatever information is given here, it is derived <laughs> from this schedule. So, when you see and refer to that and what I had explained, you will understand this more nicely. Okay, so when AFC falls, firstly it is falling, then it is it has reached its minimum level and then it again starts to rise. 